Hey guys, and welcome back. It looks like we are live. I am here on the Xbox One. This is going to be my first live stream on the Xbox One. You see Call of Duty Ghosts here. We're also streaming for you in 1080 tonight. Trying to switch over from all the 720 stuff to 1080, so make sure to check that out. Like I said, my name is O'Hapel. We're going to be talking about how the friends lists work in Call of or in Xbox One and Call of Duty Ghosts in general. Um, it's a little bit different this time than it was before. Also, if you're here just for the tutorial, the tutorial is going to be in the first five minutes. After that, it's going to be um, just a regular live stream. So feel free to stick around and watch some Call of Duty if you're interested in that as well. Anyways, the Xbox One works much differently when it comes to friends. It's listening to me right now. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, we're going to go Xbox, go to friends. Is that the command? Xbox, go to friends. There we go. Got it on here. And what you'll see here is my friends list. This is the friends app. So unlike before where you'd hit that center X button, it would pop up your little mini friends list and all that. Um, now it's kind of its own app. It used to be a hundred friends. Now it's a thousand. Plus you get this new feature called followers. And basically how this works is if you use Twitter at all, think of this just like Twitter. Your friends are people that you follow. Your followers are people that follow you, just like on Twitter. Um, so when you send a friend request, unlike in Xbox 360 where you would send the friend request and then they would have to accept it in order to be on both of your guys' friends lists, um, your friends are people that you follow, people that you've decided to friend. Your followers are people that have decided to friend you. So your followers do not count into your friends list max count. This is really great if you are somebody who has a lot of friends, so especially if you're a YouTuber or something like that. I get friend requests all the time. Now on Xbox One, when you guys send me a friend request, it'll just make you a follower of mine. And I can then go into my followers at any time and friend any of them back. Here's somebody, let's see, I don't know. Maybe I don't know this Silent Ghost guy. I don't think I do. He's playing FIFA right now. I could just add him as a friend. And what that would do is that would keep him in my followers page and add him to my friends page. Pretty simple. See my friends here, your friends list should transfer over from Xbox 360 to Xbox One. All my friends did, including friends who aren't getting new consoles. So you might want to weed some people out. You see people here on Xbox 360 still. Um, your friends list works basically the way it always used to. You click on them, you can send them messages, invite them to parties. All that good stuff. You cannot, unfortunately, party chat between Xbox 360 and Xbox One, which is unfortunate. But the friends on that side work pretty much how they used to. The only difference, like I said, is that now instead of having to do an invite and having them accept it, and then you're both on each other's friends list, this is more like a Twitter system of following each other or not. And that's great because it doesn't, it keeps all those awkward moments out of there like, hey, I sent you a friend request. You know, why don't you accept it, accept it, accept it. Now, you don't have to hurt anyone's feelings. If they want to play with you, they can friend you. If you want to play with them, you friend them. No hard feelings either way. The other addition is that there is a favorites view. So the people that you play with all the time, you see I've got 95 friends. I don't play with all 95 of those very often. Some of them are maybe family members or friends from school or something that you don't play with very often. What you can do is add them to a favorites list. What you do for that is you click here. You're going to go down, add the favorites. So Angelo the Kid is now in my favorites, and what you're going to do is hit change view, favorites. You see that these are the only three people I've added to my favorites right now, but that allows you to get to your most common friends very quickly. Also, you can just do online now, that's always helpful, but again, it does include people that are on Xbox 360, so that might get a little bit annoying, at least while we're in this transition period. And that's about it. You can still view messages the same way. Like I said, you can have a thousand friends in your friends list, and I think it's unlimited followers. So that's really great. That means that for someone like me who has a YouTube channel, if any of you guys want to friend me, go ahead, friend me. Then I'll add you into my followers. And if I'm running an open lobby and needing some slots filled, I'll say, geez, you know, I don't have anybody to play with right now. Let me go to my followers, see who's online, and select some people out, and maybe send some invites. In order to send somebody a friend request, you are just going to click on their name and then seriously that's as simple as it is click click on their name and then right here where it says remove from favorites actually we can show you guys in one of my followers how about if i go down to my followers somebody that i don't friend i don't know who that would be 
I don't think I've friend this or I don't think I've friended Silent Ghost. Just right here, you just click Add Friend. That's how you send your friend request, even though it's not really a request. You're not asking them. Um, that will put you on their followers list. Pretty simple. Nothing too fancy there. Or if you know somebody by name, so if you wanted to add me, for instance, you go up to find someone, enter in their gamer tag, just like you used to. And that will then say, hey, let's go look for him. I wonder what happens if you search yourself. Hey, there I am. And it'll find me, and then you can friend me, or whoever else you might want to friend if you have their gamer tag. That's honestly, is, it's, it's really not that difficult. Let me go ahead and open up my live stream so I can chat with you guys, see what you guys are saying. Xbox Snap Friends works too. Wow, there's a lot of you guys chatting. Um, Welcome to the stream, guys, and if you're here watching after the fact, make sure to go ahead and leave a like rating. Leave a comment anyways, I always reply to my comments. And let me know what you guys think of this new friend system. I think it's really neat. It really makes things easier, especially on people like me who get a lot of friend requests, because now there's no more requests. It's just you friend somebody or you don't. I thought I had one more thing to go over. Oh, this is your feed on what you see here. As soon as you go to the Friends app, you see your feed. And this is, oh, somebody sent me a friend request, maybe. Let's hold it for details and see how it looks. I don't know, it's a message from Stargate. We'll look at that in a minute. Um, but this is your feed, and this shows what people are doing right now, kind of like a Twitter feed. They, they're kind of like combining Twitter into your friends list. So your friends app works more like Twitter than it does like the old friends list. I saw, oh, Vanilla just started using Netflix. Let's see. Oh, two minutes ago, he started playing Ghost. Oh, but that's on Xbox 360, so it doesn't matter. And you can find somebody that just started playing Xbox One version of Ghosts, for instance, and click on them and go play with them. So that's really nice to find some people. Messages work pretty simply. Um, nothing, nothing fancy here. Stargate asks, is it still an eight-person Xbox Live party? I'm not sure, to be honest. I've never had X eight people on with me. Um, we can go ahead and let's see if we have anybody on my friends online. I think I've got one guy right now. I'm having to like remake some friends on here because most of my friends are still on Xbox 360. So let's see who's online. Anybody that I met on here. Um, it looks like everyone's on. Oh, Rap God. Here we go. So if I want to invite him to a party. I just met this guy today. You invite him to the party. And that's what you see over here on the right. And so you can, it snaps it in. This is what's called snapping. And, oh, I'll, people are saying that the they want to see more of the, of the voice features. I'll show that in just a second, um, some more. But he joined the party. It does not automatically bring you into party chat. You have to do that on your own. So now I'm going to say, turn on party chat. Hey, Rap God, you there? All right, he'll have to turn. Hey. I'll be right back. You want to play some Call of Duty Ghosts? Alrighty, I'll be right back. I'm just I'm live streaming right now, so I'm just going to talk to them for a second. Okay, so I'm going to turn that off so you guys don't have to hear them. So that's how that works. I don't know how many people can be in it. Um, it looks like several. I've only had three or four in at a time, but I know at least four works. Um, so this is what's called snapping when it comes in from the right hand side. I'm doing my hand gestures. I don't, my face cam isn't up though. I still can't get face cam to sync, so I'm just turning it off. But if you want to get rid of this, you just, um, oh, we got a new person in the party. So you could just say, we're, let's go back to Call of Duty Ghosts. It runs more like a computer where Ghosts, Ghosts has been up this whole time. If I was in a match, I'd just be sitting idle that whole time. But I can just say, Xbox snap party and boom coming in from the right side is my party go ahead and turn on party chat hey I don't know. let me look let's see do I click you and then click whoa, whoa, whoa. how do we invite him to the game Xbox unsnap so unsnap gets rid of them. I, I know I can invite them this way, but I honestly don't know how to send game invites through the friends function. I haven't been able to figure that out. And the other thing you guys won't be able to hear um, is you won't be able to hear whoever's talking. You can't hear Rap God right now. I forgot about that. It um, 
I cannot find, for the life of me, I've contacted Xbox support. Their support page that tells you how to make the chat play through the TV and through your headset, it doesn't, it's not actually real. It doesn't work. So until I can get that figured out, um, I'm actually waiting on hold with them for text support chat right now to figure that out. Until I can figure that out, you guys won't be able to hear people in the lobby, which is kind of a shame. But, um... He says he feels like playing. Let's play. All right, so we're going to go ahead and play. We're going to play some Cranked. If you guys are... I'm working on... I think I'm going to work on my Sniper a little bit and my SVU. Yeah, I'm here. If I go silent, it's just because I'm talking to my stream. Um, so I'm trying to get a couple challenges right now. My Sniper so I can get my ghillie suits. I'm trying to get my... Oh, Jabuz in the chat mentioned that you can have 32 people in your party. Thanks for letting me know. That's... That's good news. That's more than I'll ever need. Um, that's really good. And, for instance, here, if I wanted to listen to music or do whatever, I could just say, I mean, I'm trying to think of, I don't I don't use the music app on here because that's a monthly service that you have to pay for. But if right now I'm like, well, the game's not starting yet, Xbox, show my stuff. It'll just bring me to my homepage. Call of Duty's still going right now, like you see. And I can just check any of my messages, go to my other apps, whatever else, in the dashboard. And I can just say, you know, resume Call of Duty Ghosts. And I'm back. We're going to start off with maybe a little bit of quick scoping here. Um, let me know what else you guys want to see on the Xbox One. I'll keep bringing it for you guys, keep showing you features. It's really good so far. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Oh, I forgot we're playing Cranked. I kind of like Cranked just because it's so fast-paced and the games are pretty short. I... Whoa, whoa, whoa. That C4 didn't get a hit marker? This is Cranked. Have you played Cranked? Can you join free-for-all with a party, do you know? Ooh, I just got a shotgun. Same guy got me twice. If you guys aren't familiar with Cranked, basically it's Team Deathmatch, but every time you get a kill, you only have 30 seconds until your next kill. Wow, choke. We're winning this fight. I've only got one shot left. That's probably not good. I probably should go for the reload, but... Oh god, shotgun guy again. It's always disorienting to see somebody in a ghillie suit come at you with a shotgun. Let me know what else you guys want to see. On the Xbox One. The bummer you guys can't hear this guy. I need to get that. I want to figure that out. I've talked to some people. I tweeted it out. People said that you can't. I hope that's not the case. I really want to be able to have you guys listen to my party chat as well while we're while we're doing streams. Oh boy. Shit's about. Oh god. Why don't I kill myself? Wow, I'm just choking it. Oh, they finally got me. Another thing that's neat, say I got a cool kill feed there. Xbox, record that. They didn't get me. Xbox, record that. Oh, it hates me, apparently. But you're supposed to be able to say that, and it records, and I've done that a bunch. I can show you guys that feature in a minute. Xbox, record that. There we go. Um, if you say Xbox record that, it captures the last 30 seconds of gameplay and saves it straight into your, whatever it's called, your little recording app. And so now if I hold this for details, hopefully it works. Hey, I'm still here. Did I leave the game just then? Am I, I'm still in the game? Alright, good. Well, that's one thing I'm worried about. Um, sometimes I'm never I'm never sure what app takes precedence. Some apps like close other apps down, and others don't. Yeah. Xbox resume Call of Duty. No, nothing. It's all stuck on that uploader. So we're still here. He wants to play some free for all. 
Free for all's locked, dude. Xbox snap party. Why is it not even picking me up at all? Xbox snap party. Like I have to yell at it. So what I'll say about the Connect, it works 90% of the time. 10% of the time it doesn't work. Um, you cannot. Uh, I I will butcher your name. Danae asked this or something. He asked, "Can you stream to Twitch from Xbox?" You're going to be able to, but not yet. They don't. They haven't added the functionality. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this party. Xbox Snap Party. I don't need to listen to them. Xbox Unsnap. And so that's how that works. But you have to know the commands. It's not just whatever you want. Play Blitz? Alright, I'll play Blitz. I have my Blitz class right here. Oh, in the middle of a game. The controllers. Um, how's the controller feel? It feels great. Everything feels more sensitive. It feels really comfortable in your hand. Like, it's hard to explain, but when you're just holding it normally, when it's resting in your hand... It feels almost like you have a death grip on it without even grabbing it. Like, it just locks in there and somebody couldn't pull it out of your hand if they wanted to. Which is really great. Um, it's it's one of the more comfortable controllers. However, the thumbsticks feel a little bit too small for me. They're too short for me. I had to kind of, like, wrap my right thumbstick in duct tape to add my, F, or my control freak on. Because I need the extended thumbstick to feel comfortable. Also, the bumpers... You have to move your finger off of the trigger to reach the bumpers. That's unfortunate. Did we just lose? What's happening? All right. Oh, we won. Score by reaching the enemy so position. if you wanted to listen to music or something, you could just be Xbox Snap Music. Enemy satcom spotted. Friendly satcom if I have the music app downloaded, which I may not. What's happening? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, wow! I just divided all my shots between those two guys. That was kind of bad play. I should have aimed at one of them only. Oh no 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 no! Is nobody defending? Okay, you got him. Good. That find is dropping some bombs. Let's see if I can go through this building here, through the fishery area, and come around back of their blitz point. Alright, the helicopter's watching, there's guys watching back here, that's kind of scary, he knows where I'm at now. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a smoke and then flank around. Hopefully there's- oh, we've got another guy. Yeah, that was not gonna happen. Maybe I should get off the SMG for this map. Barely winning, we got four minutes. There we go, smoke grenade protects me all the way in. Oh, we about lost the point there, that was sketchy. Let's see if we can just be running these relays. Oh, I don't have any more equipment, I forgot that I already I just used it. And get another point, here we go. The trigger rumble motors, I haven't used them because Call of Duty Ghosts does not support them. So, I have no clue how they feel, to be honest with you. Oh, I was just looking for that guy on the relay. Watch the relay, guys. Alright, there we go. If you guys aren't aware of Blitz, it's kind of like Capture the Flag, except for without the actual flag part, or the capturing. <laughs> the capturing, or the flags, or, or really the game at all. Um... You don't have to run back to your base, you just teleport back. 8 points forces halftime, 16 points forces the end of the game. So we reached 8 points and that forced halftime. Go ahead and grab that point there. We just need 3 more to win for sure. I'm not playing defense at all. At this point we're so far ahead that I feel comfortable playing offense only. And if our team just gets that offense going... Um, we'll be able to force the end of the game before they can even come close to catching up. Guard dog ready. There we go. Got my puppy. 
One more point and we win. It looks like one of our guys is set up for relay right now. Nope, he missed it. Oh, missed that. I missed my scuff too. I missed being able to do those jump shots. Maybe use a marksman rifle. Um, I don't like using marksman rifles and blitz. I gotta use my mobile class because I always play offense on blitz. But I'll hit up some any other game type actually and use the SVU. That's what I've been working on right now. I think I'm working on an operation called 2020, which is don't miss a single shot with an entire clip of a marksman rifle. It's intense because I think the lowest clip size is 18 or 16 or 18, something like that. So that means you have to land 18 shots in a row, and it's a two-hit kill, which means you have to get nine kills with it. Let's go ahead and back out. This is the class. Um, I'll show you guys my classes. This is the one I just used, using the Bison Extended Mags and um, Silencer. This is my silenced class in general. Smoke Grenade to help me capture those points, and everything stealthy and fast on the bottom there for the perks. Sniper, um, SVU, this is the class I was just talking about. Even though it looks like a sniper, I'm using the red dot sight and the silencer. It's a two hit kill from dang near any range. A one shot headshot from almost any range. And we have a cooler camo, so let's get some pink on that. And it's really nice. I don't really need this C4. Um, in fact, I should probably take it off because I'm, right now I'm wasting reflex, a two point perk, and the lethal on it. We might be better off by running, um, not a secondary, a extra attachment and then we'll throw on what else do we like on here I, I don't use burst fire especially when I'm going for this I don't want to extend the mags we will go with armor piercing though do I have any other of these I like the blue dot let's see with that all right got that class set up we're gonna use that for what, should, what do we want to use that for let's do a little free-for-all see if I can kick some ass in that how many games are on the marketplace now on Xbox one um if you mean like downloadable marketplace like just games to download 10 or less like when i looked at it there was a couple arcade games there was some bike game it looked like there was connect sports there was a fighting game and then there was battlefield call of duty and the launch titles rise forza um some sports game there was there's basically only 10 games you can even play on xbox one right now my quick review i'm going to do a review video of this maybe tomorrow or the next day but my quick review is the xbox one is exactly what they promised it would be however it's just not quite there yet it it's like it's a must buy in six months right now it's like you're an early adopter and the technology's there but a lot of the third party stuff that you that are actually the most cool parts about it aren't aren't ready yet oh choke All right, let's see if I can catch up, get this game going. That's the power of this gun, man. Silenced even from that range, it was just two shots. So if you can put your shots on target, you're golden. I need to stop reloading though, because I'm trying to get that challenge. There's one guy, oh God. Oh, choke. All right, see how I missed some shots? That means no challenge for me. If I get two more, I get a care package. Go ahead and come back here. This is a big traffic area. Nope. Okay, got my care package. In free for all, that's kind of dangerous because they see the care package and they all come running. Ballistic vest ready to be equipped. See, this thing's just sweet, though. I mean, I think I fired like four. Seven shots and got three kills. I've only missed one shot. Oh. Oh, I missed some right there as well. That, oh, this thing is a friggin' hilarious fun. I'll use it right now on whoever comes by me. It's called the Maws. <laughs> it's a kill streak launcher in the support class. Let's see if we can sound for somebody and pick up another easy kill with it. It's just a lot of fun. You, so you laser wherever you want the missiles to go. Easy, easy, but it does draw a lot of attention. He's doing some trick shotting stuff. I don't even know what that was. Give me some ballistic vests. 
And that should give me the protection I need to go throw my care package down. No, 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 I don't want the- Ah, uh, that's what I was afraid of. I'll spawn with me all the way across the map then. No worries, that's what I like. Just give them that care package. Oh, it's even a good one too. Hopefully they'll all fight over it and die. No. That's alright, they can have it. Enemy Griffin incoming! Enemy care package incoming! Ah. You can see how it'd be hard to. Isn't there somebody right next to me? Playing ring around the Rosie right now? What's happening? Oh, I'm choking too many shots. One guy on my right. Alright, let's keep it going. Oh, ooh, he killed him for me. Dang. Got me. Grab some more ballistic vests. And there's a guy up here. Oh, missed the shot. It's a bummer that we can't... So if I had some C4, I'd take this thing out right now, but it's probably going to kill me. Let's see if I can get inside before it gets me. I did get a Maz again. I think it's an 8 or 9 support kill streak. That should kill him. Yeah, it didn't kill him, wow. Did that kill him? Tell me that killed him. There we go. So the Maz is not the smartest kill streak in the world, at least I don't use it very smartly. But I just love the effect it has. It's just it's just why I like Call of Duty, just because it's hilarious fun. Uh, Alright, let's head around here. Got him through the wall. That's what that bullet penetration attachment does for you. Alright. Let's go. Going on a tear here. Alright, I got my next care package. I might as well just throw it down and see what it is. See if I can get a cool final kill with this since I am several kills ahead. Oh, I knew somebody would come for me. I don't want to kill him because I, I want to get the kill with the care package thing, but that's alright. Who's shooting me? Alright, that'll do. So that's the SVU. That's a class I really like running with it. If you can be accurate, it, it's one of these guns that's really high risk, high reward. Because you saw there, I missed my first shot. If I'd missed one more shot, he probably would have killed me. You can only, I mean, it's a two shot kill, but you only probably have three shots out the bullet or out the barrel before they might get you. All right, let's maybe use a marksman rifle. How many games? Forza. I am not playing it yet. I hope to get it. Um, let's see who's on Skype. Sure, we can try out Skype. Um, I guess what we just say. Xbox, go to Skype. Did they not hear us? Sometimes I notice when I'm in a game, it's like it it freaks out and doesn't ever detect me. And then it's, if I go to the menu, I guess I could go to the menu through the voice chat too. Xbox, show my stuff. Xbox, go to Skype. So you saw, like, it didn't work that one time, but then it did after that, and once it worked, it worked just flawlessly, and it's great. It's still listening right now. You see it lights up green when I talk. Uh, if you say stop listening, it will stop listening. I don't know what Skype's doing right now. It's just booting up, I guess. What I noticed also, apps are slow to start up the first time you start them up, and then after that it's just like... It's like if you were to load them up on your computer and then you're switching windows, and so it's very quick after that. But the first time, it's a lot slower than I would expect, honestly. Like right now, is Skype frozen? What's happening? It shouldn't... Maybe it is frozen, I don't know. I have noticed that some apps freeze when I was... Oh! It looks like it froze. I noticed that when I was helping my dad set up his Xbox... Yeah. So Skype freaked out, so maybe I can't show you how good Skype is. Um, Skype doesn't work. Oh, there we go, now it's on. 
who do we have on here that's online? How do I know who's online? I guess they have a green button next to them if they're online. Nobody's online. I don't think. So that's that, but you can always go ahead and... Oh, maybe maybe there's people online. Let's see. Let's just try the sound test, just for fun. Um, so if I do a... Oh, you can only do a voice call there. Let's see if we can get... Um, Glitch stream on. Do a little video call with him. You'll see me here. Hey guys. Calling him up. Hey, what's up? Can you see me? You can't hear me, or see? Can you hear me now? What's up? Can you see me? Doing it from the Xbox. Just giving a little test. Yep. Skype in from the Xbox One. Yeah. I'm on the connect right now. You can't see my webcam? Oh cool. Yeah, that's why it's all wide wide angle. Um I'm I'm streaming right now, so I'm gonna take off and go play some more Call of Duty, but I just wanna test it out and it worked. Yeah, I'm gonna hang up and send you a text message though on Skype. Bye. Um Unfortunately, so I could just go down here and say, Hi. Another thing you can do, um, you guys can't see it, unfortunately, <laughs> because my webcam's not on. Actually, I'll turn my webcam on for a second for this, but it will be delayed, just so you guys know. It should pop up here on the top left of your screen in a second. If you get the Xbox One app I have up right now and connect it in with your Xbox, you get this little option. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see it. Let's see. It takes a second to connect. It's connecting. It's connected. And now it show, It actually has a keyboard. So then I can just say, what's up? And you see it popping in on the screen. I'm typing that on my phone, and it's instantly going straight to the Xbox. Nice right, talking to you. And that's on my phone, going straight to my Xbox. As well, you can use the remote function. Let's get out of here. And Xbox, show my stuff. I'm not sure if you guys can see it at all, but there's a little pad on here and buttons. So if I hit, um, if I swipe side to side, it actually moves in the menu. So if you were using this as an entertainment center, you could use your phone as a remote instead of a controller. So I'm swiping around on my phone right now. And if I want to go, you know, into something, go back to Call of Duty, I just tap on my phone, back in Call of Duty. If I want to go out, tap on my phone, I'm out. So that's another way to control it, as well as you can use Connect with your hand, which I find pretty useless. You like hold up your hand. I'm not sure it'll detect me because I'm at my desk and my Connect is like two feet away from me. But if I sit back a little, come on, no, it works when I'm sitting on my bed. Let's go over there. I'm gonna show off my webcam. Oh, maybe not. Maybe you guys can see me. Let's see. If I'm over here, in front of it, they're gonna get me. No, I think you have to be a little bit further away for that. Um, you guys can't tell, but you guys are right here. Or the connect is right behind you. Well, I'm about where am I going? About this far from my connect right now, <laughs> and that's not its optimal distance. Um, so I'm gonna shut the webcam off. But that's basically how that works. Let's get back into a Call of Duty Ghost match. And you see, it just resumed it. If I had people in my game, they'd still be here. If I was in the game, the game would have resumed without me. I want to play Clan v Clan, but we don't have people. So I should be hunting down some people that are maybe more serious. Let's see what other. What other operations we got going right now? Also, this weekend is the ranking weekend for Clan Ops. So, if you guys have a clan, make sure to um, play hard this weekend. That'll get you ranked into your division for the next week, which is the first Clan War. Um, dumb question, but when you play games after you install, do you still need the disc? I think you do still need the disc just for copy or for um, DRM reasons but it's actually reading it off the hard drive uh, unless you okay so unless you buy it digitally if you buy it digitally I think you can play it digitally if you buy it with a disc I think you need the disc is I think how it works um are you streaming directly from the Xbox I am using the Elgato game capture through open broadcaster on my computer not using the Xbox program oh but I thought I'd show you guys that um, I guess, I don't even know if that, I would use my voice chat for that, but I don't know how to, what it's called. Uh, Xbox, show my stuff. So the other thing about the Kinect, 
it requires that you know the commands. If you don't know the commands, it's useless. Upload is what it's called. Um, if we go to the Call of Duty Ghosts for upload, you'll see it saved 30 seconds when I said save that clip. You saw it save it right there, so we can go back. And what you guys are watching is recorded gameplay from earlier in the stream when I said record that. And it records it. The quality is not the finest, from what I can tell. But here, here you go. It records 30 seconds worth. If I hit A, you'll see it's 20, actually 29 seconds, 29.9, I think it is. And it saves it. And here we go. And this is my clip. And I got a couple kills. And here we go. And that's the end of the clip. I think I die here. All right, get him. Oh, that was pretty cool. All right. So say you have that, and you want to um, go back. Where am I? Upload. I don't know. You can go to Upload Studio, is what it's called, and this is where you can do some... This is where you can do some, like, editing and trimming and whatnot. So you can say, start editing. Um, I do have multiple clips, so we can do a multi-clip. Let's say, choose Game DVR. And we can say, that this is the one that I got just today, just then. That looks good. This one will record with Connect. And we're just going to... Do something where it's like, start recording, and it's gonna be like, Whoa, that was so cool, guys. That was awesome. All right, and then accept it. And then, you know, we can grab another clip over here. Say, I got this. I don't, oh, no, it's a five minute clip. I don't want that. Um, five minutes is the most you can record if you use their DVR feature, so that is a little bit unfortunate. Maybe they'll change that in the future. Let me cancel that. Um, this works well, but you're, if you're wanting to do YouTube, you're better off just doing YouTube with a game capture or something. So I got this clip as well, 30 seconds. I don't know if it's any good. I was just messing with it earlier. So then you can choose a skin as well. I'll still download that. Um, that's just going to be something that looks cool. Let's try Slam. And then what you do is, now we've chosen our theme. We have... A couple clips in here. We're all good. We're just gonna say finish. Finish. You must add clips. Okay, I guess we need more clips. What the heck? I don't know why you need five clips. Maybe not. Maybe this button here. Um, no? Huh. I have no clue why we need five clips. But we do, so... We'll just say this one. Alright, now we can finish. We're just going to call this test 2 because I did a test earlier. Upload. Um, I think if you save the SkyDrive you can access that on your computer as well. But I'm not trying to spam out or anything, but if anyone wants a free Xbox One, I have a video on my channel on how to get one. It's super short. Xbox streaming is not working until 2014, that's true. So you can play any game after you buy and install. I I think, if, I'm a, if I understand your question correctly, then yes. Alright, so it, we're sitting here rendering, I guess, for 30. So I think while we're doing this, we can go, you know, Xbox Snap Internet Explorer. No? I think I need to recalibrate mine as well. Um, one thing I noticed is that if you don't turn your volume up on your TV when you set up the Kinect, it freaks out and like then you have to yell at it. So I think I have to, if I yell at my Xbox, it works because I have it calibrated wrong. If that makes sense. So I were to let's see if I yell at it. Xbox Snap Music. See, so I talked a little bit louder and it worked. I think I need to recalibrate it. That's most what most of my problems are for, or from, is that I don't have um, the music app set up or anything, so that doesn't work. But we can say, um, what was the other? What was another app? Xbox Snap Netflix. And here's Netflix on the right. We have 62%, 64%, whatever. And your other Xbox, what? I don't even know what that means. Try again? I, I'm not sure what it's trying to do. Oh, this is because I logged in on another Xbox just a second ago. 
So for Netflix, it's like it doesn't work unless you... Like, you have to select it and have a show playing first, I think. I, I'm not sure. Um, what else could we try? I don't have TV hooked up because I don't actually have a cable box, so I can't hook up TV through this, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, I'm trying to think of another app. I don't even... Xbox, Snap Friends. Xbox, Snap Friends. No? Xbox, Unsnap. So if you don't say a term that it recognizes, it just freaks out completely and doesn't even do anything. So you have to learn the catchphrases. If you don't know what they all are, then it becomes difficult. I'll, um, I'm going to show you guys a little bit. You can go from Rise to Call of Duty with Call of Duty in the disc reader. As long as you've downloaded Rise, I think you can do that, yes. But you, I think if, they're, if you bought the discs for both of them, I don't think that'll work. All right, so our thing uploaded. Let's view in my clips gallery. See how awesome we did here. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream. If you are, please make sure to leave a like. Helps out my channel. So this is from two minutes ago, test two. All right, so I had that gray stuff. Let me get my kills, cool. Satcom uplink enabled. I guess that's cool. I don't, I'm not really sure what's I'm not really sure what that framing stuff is for. Because it only shows up in that one spot as far as I've seen. Maybe there's some more editing stuff that I'm not familiar with yet. Turn on this guy, and then we cut in our, our webcam here. Whoa, that was so cool, guys. That was awesome. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And we're back to some gameplay of me dying. So, I mean, that's that's basically it. So that's this is all pre-recorded. It, it works nicely. It works better than I expect, but it's not perfect. Xbox, show my stuff. Let's go ahead and get back in Call of Duty Ghosts, and we're right back where we left off. I really want to get that dang... Um, I have no clue what I'm doing challenge, but for some reason I can't ever get it. Oh, I was also going to show you guys the cool way that Netflix works. If you want to just come in, you just say Xbox on, it turns it all on, you say Xbox show my stuff. Xbox show my stuff. Gotta raise my voice with it or else it doesn't behave like a small child. Alright, here we go, Netflix. So... Go to full screen. Profile 2. Now wait, still listening here, so that anything you say that's on the screen, it will use. Select one. Xbox select. Select one. So if you were just sitting on your couch, you could have done all that, and now we have Top Gear playing. Just not even a problem. And... Oh, apparently there's a problem. Be oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. It won't let me play Netflix, and I just hit B, and I'm back in my game. Um... It won't let me play Netflix because it detects I'm going through an Elgato, so it, it doesn't want me to record TV shows. Which is fine, and that's understandable. What game type do you guys want to see? Let's... Oh, while you guys give me some suggestions, I'm just going to go into Cranked and use my sniper again, because I really want that ghillie suit. Because I'm a sucker for that kind of thing. Danny asks, so who can actually see this? Um, I think that everyone can. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. Well, I mean, I can't because I'm through the Elgato right now. But you can watch Netflix. In, however, it is a pretty small window. You see the tank on screen? <laughs> it won't even make it halfway past that tank. Um, it's going to be a small window that you're watching Netflix on. But say you wanted to like listen to a TED Talk while you're playing some Call of Duty casually because you're that kind of cool kid. Um, you could just have that up, be playing Call of Duty, just relaxing, and just kind of half-watching the show or whatever. Or you can do it with TV as well. If you have TV set up, you could just be um, playing Call of Duty. It, like, if you're playing single-player Call of Duty, you could just be playing Call of Duty and have it, have your TV snapped in 
while you're right. waiting for the commercial to be over. That way you're, you know when the commercial's over. And when the commercial goes over, you say, Time to work, Xbox Switch, and that switches control. So if we were to say, um, that switches between that. So if we said, Xbox Snap Party. Xbox Snap Party. We're in the lead. So now it's on here, and you see how it's made my game screen. It, I've, I have no more control over Call of Duty right now. I have to say, Xbox Switch. Satcom uplink enabled. Xbox Switch. There we go, and now I have control over Xbox, or over Call of Duty, but not over the Snapped app. Oh, choke. I'm bad. Alright. Xbox, unsnap. Alright, let's see if I can redeem myself a little bit here. Enemy SATCOM spotted. We've lost the lead. We're in the lead. Oh, they got me. Satcom of Lincoln. The clips that I uploaded earlier, they're not on YouTube. Um, no. But you can see other people's through Xbox Live. I want that guy to come back out here. So if I wanted to see one of my friends' clips. You can just go on their gamer tag and it goes straight to their upload studio. So you can view people there. I, I'm i not sure how to get it onto YouTube yet. I need to do some more testing with that before I can give you guys a real answer on that. Alright, we'll go up here and disturb this guy a little bit. Satcom spotted. Let's see who we got. Any customers? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna explode. Enemy Satcom spotted. They're gonna come get me or not? Oh, got him. Um, I forgot about YouTube. I always forget about the YouTube app, and considering I'm a YouTuber, that's kind of ironic. So, Xbox, snap YouTube. Xbox, snap YouTube. God. I need to recalibrate this shit, because I'm tired of yelling at it. It's making my voice sore. Xbox, snap YouTube. No, fine, screw you. I'll show you guys YouTube after this. It's beautiful. The YouTube app works so good. It actually works with the um, YouTube app on your phone as well, so you can select videos to watch on your phone, and then they show up on your TV right away. Oh my god, I'm bad. Friendly SATCOM active. I'm gonna choke every shot. I probably shouldn't be using a sniper rifle. At 10 seconds until I explode. Detonation in five. SATCOM up Lincoln. Come out. God, no, I'm dead. I want that ghillie suit. Where'd that guy go? I need crouching kills and leaning kills, so I'm just gonna sit here and, and lean all day. No? Where's everybody I need to kill? Oh, let's go with the hit marker. Oh boy, that's a bummer. I'm no pro sniper, I'm actually pretty bad at sniping, all things considered. Checking those windows.
Oh boy, I'm negative? That's gross. Wow. Somebody got a mortar strike. That's pretty bad for me. We're tied up. I'm not helping my team out any though. They're probably gonna win from this mortar strike. I don't want to be the last death. Oh, we barely won by one point. No thanks to me, 10 and 12. Gross. What do you guys want to see? Extinction? I have done Extinction. Um, I don't have any friends on right now, so I'll be playing solo. I actually liked playing solo better. And especially since you guys can't hear the other people anyways. I can try some solo Extinction if more than one of you guys want it. Um, I don't think it's super entertaining. I did it on my last stream, but it's not too bad, I guess. Oh my gosh, my voice hurts. Do I have anything to drink? Oh, I do. I got some G Fuel. Bonus. Oh, my voice hurts. Or oh, I guess my throat hurts. Also, let me throw my webcam up real quick. One thing you guys will see, again, it's, it's going to be off sync by about a second and a half. But one thing you guys probably see is, what is this that's in front of my face? It's a microphone, and you know what this microphone does? It talks to people on Xbox Live. And you know what else is weird? Turtle Beaches, but it's also a microphone that works. Um, <laughs> I'm going to show you, I'm going to do a little tutorial on this a little bit later, on how you can combine your existing Xbox One headset with your Turtle Beaches or Astros or whatever else because right now they're not compatible. You can't plug in your Astros or Turtle Beaches and get the usual boom mic that comes with them to work. So you actually have to do a little bit of some stuff to kind of get them to work together in order to be wearing them. So you can hear the game audio and still hear chat and still talk through the chat. So I'll, I'm gonna do a tutorial on that. Oh yeah, YouTube. Thank you, Jabuzz. I forgot. Xbox, show my stuff. Go to YouTube. Do you have to say Xbox go to YouTube? I think so. Xbox, go to YouTube. There we go, we're on YouTube. It should have me already signed in. Um, I signed in earlier. It has what to watch, boom, right now. Here's Polly on tap. I can go down any of my subscriptions just to be safe and not show other people's videos on here. Um, we'll just go to my uploads. Pops right in here. Xbox One unboxing, what? How cool is that? And you can say, pause. Pause. Alright guys, and welcome back. Play. My name's O'Hapel, and this is going to be the start of my so Xbox So that's pretty neat, series. I think. That I'm going to take you guys through stop a lot listening. of different features of the console. I just got so there we go. Just picked it up from Best Buy. This is a video I uploaded, I think, yesterday. So, I don't even remember. Do the unboxing and right so now, I, I think because I'm streaming. One. Oh, if you hit left or right, here we go. Got Coach O'Hapel. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of. Coach so I mean, that all works flawlessly if you just hit left and right on your controller. It just goes and throws you into another video. So I can go. All right, I'm in Coach O'Hapel. Now I'm in the other video. When do we push? You don't need to push anything. Now I'm in the next video, how to upgrade COD Ghosts. I mean, you can just flip through all the videos, which is beautiful. You can flip through them this way to see what you might want to watch next. Also, it has a um, what to watch thing. So this is stuff that it thinks that I'll like, I guess. I don't really know. And so then you can find something in here. Pretty sure Untouchable Wolf would be cool with me playing one of his videos, so if one of those comes up, I'll throw that up there. Oh, I guess Mike Raz, I know he's cool with it. Here we go. Now I'm just watching a, a Game Ninjas video. And I guess it's all freaked out. Oh, I accidentally skipped off of it. That's something I'm not used to yet. So that's how it works. Xbox, show my stuff. Xbox, show my stuff. I would calibrate it again right now, except for I don't have it plugged into my TV with my speakers. I'm on my monitor right now. Um, Call of Duty Ghosts. Does that work? Let's hit it with the controller. 
And now we're back in Call of Duty Ghosts. Let's. Jeez, what should we try? I haven't played Search and Rescue in a while. Let's go ahead and use something fun. Let's use this pistol, two throwing knives, tactical knife. See how I can do with mostly knifing only. I'm used to doing knifing only with my scuff, so this will be a little bit different for me. Because um, usually that you have that paddle on the back. So I saw, did I accidentally leave my webcam up? I did. I'm sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. So the app works perfect. It works great. Um, it is really nice that, like, if I'm the, actually I used it this morning. I woke up, didn't have a controller with me, was in bed still. I'm I do all my stuff in my room, so I was, I rolled over in my bed, said Xbox on. Said I have to like whisper it so it doesn't hear me and think I'm telling it commands. Said Xbox on, go to YouTube, and then I just said um, select one or whatever, and it just started playing a video on my TV, and I was I was watching a video just by saying like four commands to my TV without touching a remote or anything else. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's do a little knifey knifey. Um, I'm going to calibrate it. But not right now on stream, because that requires me to completely unhook it from my Elgato. Um, since I, I do use two different TVs, I use one for gaming and recording, and one for TV and hanging out with my girlfriend and doing split screen and stuff with her. See if we can maybe get a rush plant down. Oh, I'm dead. And he's going to get my tags. Choke right off the bat. Alright, I should have gone knife only. I forgot I was using knife only. Sorry about that. And make sure to keep commenting. Let me know what you think. I'm going to go ahead and tweet out the stream again while I'm dead. And I can maybe do some... Do some COD casting too, even though I'm bad at that. Um, let's see. Tweet. I'm showing off the features of the Expo 1 and COD Ghosts at... Paste the link. Paste that link. Aww. Oh. Come on, just paste the little link in there for me. Alright, there we go. If any of you guys know how to make it... <laughs> Danny Tech. Not, like, not to be spamming, but... Just thought I'd throw this in here, maybe come watch my video. I gotta go because I gotta go to another stream so I can get more people to watch it. Excellent job, Ghost. You're funny. Get ready for the next round. I love YouTube, but I am not sure about the new YouTube challenge. Did we win that? We did win that. I love the new scoreboard. You can leave it up all the time. Um, Search and rescue. Yeah. The new controller is very comfortable. Destroy I the like the new what's it? The, the new bomb. headset plug. It just makes it so sturdy in there that it feels like you're never going to break it, which I like because I usually mute and unmute myself a, a lot, especially when I'm doing streams and stuff, because obviously that's important because sometimes I'm talking to you guys, sometimes I'm talking to my team, and I don't want my team to get all confused when I'm talking to you guys. Alright, so they got three left. At least one guy back here. Oh! Oh, baby, baby. Xbox, record that. Xbox, record that. There we go. I don't know why I just threw that. I did not even mean to. I'm just gonna sit here and watch the bomb, maybe knife somebody that comes in here. If you guys like that throwing knife, make sure to go ahead and leave a like, because that was pretty boss. And as you see, our game clip was just recorded. I mean, hold this for details. Even though we're in the game, play clip. No, don't play clip. Oh boy, it just freaked out. I believe so, Jabuzz, but I'm not sure. I haven't really gone into that yet. Oh boy. So here's what just happened. And then you see me get this guy with the throwing knife. I think. No? Did it, it miss it? I don't know. 
But I should probably get back to the game. And now, here we are, we're in the game. I missed the beginning of the round, but we were doing all that stuff while the game was still going. So that's pretty neat that you can do that, except for I don't like to miss a game. But how however, if you're in a single player game, it's really nice. Who's shooting me? Oh, get my tag, buddy. Come on, buddy. Don't you want to be my friend? Thank you. Let's see if they chase after me. Oh, she's right there. Oh, I thought I had that knife on him. Bummer. Um, you can set a sleep timer for I think it's one hour on your Xbox. Xbox, show my stuff. Xbox, go to settings. Um, I think it's in here. You can go ahead and set that up. You can't control your settings with your voice. I think that's supposed to be a security thing. Um, I think it's just system. Maybe not. No. I don't know. Preferences, perhaps. No. I have no idea. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Oh, power and startup. Derp. One hour of inactivity or six hours of inactivity is the other option. Maybe the round's just over? Oh boy, what's happening? I missed the beginning of the round? Alright, that's okay. I'm sure my team will forgive me. We're winning pretty well. Hey guys, bombs down at B. Oh, there we go. That's a little ring around the rosy. That's what that move's called. Alright, we got one left. I think he was at A, if, I don't, if I'm not mistaken, but I know the bomb's at B, so... Just gonna chill back. She's up there. He's top B, guys. There we go, they got him. So 7 and 3 with knife only, or I guess I got one pistol kill, but from knife and throwing knife isn't too shabby. Let's see what's happening on Twitter. I think somebody retweeted, somebody just tweeted me, Addo Hateful. Um, hmm. Alright, there we go, and I'm back. Now we can go back to what were we just doing? Settings? Oh, yeah, we already showed that. Let's go ahead and. Since I always have a controller in my hands since I'm gaming, I do like navigating it with my hands the best. But we can go to. You just say snap. Um, this gives you options of things you can snap that you might already have on your Xbox. If it would load. There we go. So we, these are some just some things you can snap in. But I think a lot of them require that you've already had the app open in full screen at some point. Like, I've never used Internet Explorer before. It'll probably say that you have to go full screen to set it up. Let's see if that's the case. I don't know. Seems pretty glitchy to me. Xbox, unsnap. 
We can go in here, check my friends, see what's happening. I don't like how the friends list is so detached from everything else. It really does take you out of the experience, unlike the old friends list. I, I like the friends list concept, but I wish it didn't take you out of the experience so much. Yeah, you can trim the video um, to whatever you want it to be after you've said record. So here's my activity feed. Let's see what's been happening with my friends. Somebody started playing Modern Warfare 2. He just unlocked an achievement 11 minutes ago. I mean, that's just how it works. It's pretty cool. He un Oh, he uploaded a game clip. Let's go ahead and check that out. That's the guy that we had in the party a minute ago. He must have said record that and uploaded a game clip. This is how you have other people see it. So, if it ever loads. Seems like the multitasking makes it a little bit slow to do some of these other applications. It's like you're trying to run this on a tiny little bad processor while you're running almost everything on the... So here we go, here's his clip that he uploaded. Nice clip, man. See more clip options here. I'm not sure what he did that was cool that made him say this. You can play this game, browse his clips, report the clip. Cool. Friendly this looks like it's nothing in this clip. I don't really know why he say that. Oh, hey, I'm in there. That was me. Uh, we're gonna go back and go ahead and go back to Call of Duty as the game probably is starting. Um, I, I forgot we were in a game. Mm, honey Badger, let's go. Surge and rescue. Defend the objective. So you. Hey guys. So you see how this can be very distracting and get you like kicked out of lobbies and stuff because you're messing with Netflix while the game's going. For the next round. Let's see what we should use this time. Maybe I'll use that chainsaw actually. Surgeon rescue. All the buttons and everything on the Xbox One just feel a lot snappier. That's what I like about it. Oh! And that's what's bad about the chainsaw. He was right in my crosshairs and didn't get it. And they picked up my tags. So now I get to sit it out. Let's see who we want to watch here. Oh! Why don't I leave the action right as it happens? I'm gonna go try something while we're on stream here. Not the most professional thing in the world, but. The bomb has been planted! Got all this extra technology. Alright. So, I am going to try to do this while we're on stream here. Try to upgrade my little headset solution. See if we can make it work a little bit nicer. Before I share it with you guys, let me take my headset off completely. And. Let's see. We lost that, we lost round. that we round. still win this. Uh oh. Probably should be in the game about now. Defend the objective. But I'm not. Enemy oh boy. Oh boy. Throwing my mic all over the place. Alright. Bro, what I'm using. Oh yeah, chainsaw.
I hear him somewhere above me or behind me. He's above me, I just saw his shadow. Oh, okay. Choke again. That's four. That was all around four. Alright. Jabuz asks, what's your overall impression on the Xbox One? Should I buy it this year or save it 360 for now? Um, I think that if you like new technology, it's a lot of fun. It, it, right now, it probably won't offer you anything that your Xbox 360 doesn't offer you already. So, if money's tight or you're on the fence, stick with your Xbox 360 for a while. If you just love to get new technology, it's a lot of fun. Um, it really is. Yeah, this new solution for my headset is not working as good as I thought it would. We lost that round, but we can still win this. Well, let's hope I can set this up before it's time for me to play. Not a chance, this is so messed up. Alright. Surgeon rescue. I think I took everything that I did in my headset and made it worse. Alright. Let's see if I can get a kill maybe with this chainsaw. This is not meant to be a long range gun, so I gotta try to force some closer range engagements. Or just die again right off the bat. Kill confirmed. Get me, teammate! That's what I don't like about the chainsaws, you can't hit every shot, it's just kind of luck in the draw. I think I'm going to take my headset out, I need to talk to people tonight I guess. Let's go ahead and hit up Microsoft support, see how that goes. They defuse the bomb. Xbox support, let's see if we can figure out how to, no I don't want to, <laughs> my Xbox thought I was talking to it. All right. Destroy the objective. We got the bomb. Kill confirmed. Oh, did I get him? Yeah, that damn vulture thing got me, though. That's a bummer. Alright, we need to talk to them about the Xbox One. Audio and video settings. That with Microsoft support. To go through TV and headset. Mission failed. This won't happen again. Oh my gosh! I have to sign in and everything. All right. Sign in. Enter. Oh my gosh. Uh oh, seems that their support page froze. Looks like Davy Binkers is installing the game now, so once he's online, we're gonna play with him a little bit. And the Microsoft site froze completely. And it must hate me completely. Alright.
Um. All right, let's see if I can get some support. Okay. Get chat audio to come through the TV and headset. Start chat. Okay, now I'll have to wait for them, so I'm... I've been waiting all day to chat with them, so we're just gonna see if we can get that going as well. We'll wait for a game. Let's play a different game type. Um, let's switch it up for some infected, I suppose. I suppose that's good as any. Alright. Alright, 9 and 9. Stay alive Joined the mid game. I know there's some zombies over here, though. Oh, what? Why'd that IED not go off? Okay. I lasted about no time at all. There's what, one left? Just in case I hit it and that would be the craziest shot of all time. There we go. We got the stream again, and let's go back. I guess we'll play Blitz, or not Blitz, Cranked, while we're waiting. Mm, I love this class so much. Our wait time is approximately 18 minutes. Thank you for your patience. Hey, thanks for the sub. How did, put in the chat how you say your name because I don't want to keep mispronouncing it. But it's like, I don't know, it's above, it's over my pay grade. So Cranked is where it's basically a team deathmatch. However, when you get a kill, you have 30 seconds to get your next kill. If you don't get your kill within 30 seconds, you explode. If you do get a kill, it resets the timer at 30 seconds. If you get an assist, it also resets the timer. So. It's basically a team deathmatch with no camping, so we're gonna go ahead and throw this gun on here. Right. What you gonna kill? Keep killing. I shouldn't say no camping, you can still camp it out pretty easily, but... So now I'm cranked, you get extra perks. And then you get that timer on your screen. I think that's who just said let's play. I kind of camped out that corner for a while. Oh, come on, give me that kill! Ugh! 15 seconds. Gotta keep moving or else I'm gonna explode. Got him. Now it resets at 30 seconds. Now I've got a little bit of breathing time. I can put myself in a more advantageous position. Hopefully, come up with another kill. Got some field orders, apparently. Come on. Got him. Enemy satcom spotted. Satcom uplink enabled. Got him. Alright, I'm running low on ammo, however. I do have ammo crate, so we're gonna throw that down. And also pick up a second weapon. Fast 
ready for deployment. I can't kill him. Let's just move on. Not worth dying over. Oh god! Oh, I did not know they were chasing me. That sucks. Alright. Got my launcher out. Dan. Alright, I'll call you Dan. Oh, yeah. Did you get him? I didn't get those kills. That rocket was headed straight at his face. Here on behind me, it sounds like. Oh, there we go. He's running alongside me. Sound cranked, have 25 seconds. And the beast launcher. Bye! I don't care if I die because I want to get him. There we go, got it. I just love that rocket launcher. I say that every time I use it, but it's so fun. It's one of the most fun kill streaks to me. Boom, that's how we lay it down right there. More guys right here. Ah, oh, choke. This game type goes to, I think, 100 points. Where are we at? Gotta be someone. Ready to be equipped. Enemy SATCOM spotted. Oh man. Hey Milky Joe, what's up? Just kicking some acid crank right now. I got that rocket launcher again. Let's see if I can get the last kill with it. <laughs> right into the pole. What a fail. Got him. But it was not the final kill. There we go. Nice work, ghosts. Well done. Let's see, I think Davey being here might be ready for me. Let's see what we got here. I think he sent me a message, maybe? Maybe not? Party invite, maybe? Load? This is way too slow to load. This all needs to be fixed. Alright. Let's see if he's on. Untouchable Wolf? Is he on... I don't know if he's on Xbox One or what. Like him and Davey. See who we can get in here. Still waiting on with Microsoft Chat. 17 minutes to wait. It's been 17 minutes for the last 15 minutes, so you know how that goes. Okay. No one? Someone? I just heard a noise, but I'm not sure what that noise was. I still just play another game of something. Team Tactical, that's kind of my my thing. No, it's not. I don't know what I want to do. I kind of want to play a real game of Infected where I'm not joining halfway through. Oh, apparently that's not an option. He wants to party up with me, is that what he's saying? Who's this? Dusky Mage. Oh. The Xbox One is mighty fancy. Quite fun. Though, I will say it kind of blows not being able to play with my friends anymore. Like, usually I have a full party and now it's just me. Seriously, it's, it's literally just me. <laughs> There's only 20,000 people on right now, I think, give or take. 
Okay, what's happening? Am I am I good? Okay, oh, hey, there's one zombie. Alright. Let's try to do it without camping. I'm gonna be the one to get knifed. Oh boy. Until the first couple people get infected, this is real boring. There we go, now it'll get interesting. I still... Can't get anyone. Where are they? Oh, okay. Slowest game ever. There's only two. Oh, that's because people are rage quitting as soon as they die. Um, kind of my short little thing about it, Milky Joe, is if you really like new technology, it's worth getting. However, right now it's probably not much of an improvement over your current experience on Xbox One. I think in six months it'll be a lot better. It'll be a must-buy in six months, but for now it's kind of just a fun piece of technology, fun gadget. Load up on ammo. Oh, he got me. Somebody sent me a message. I don't know who that is. Um, Davey Binkers. Let's see what it says. Read message. Still installing takes forever. True story. Where'd my knife go? Alright, how many are left? A bunch. One of my favorite things to do is to... Oh, I didn't know there was a guy over here. Got him. Um, what I was going to say is one of my favorite things to do is put a tack down here. And just get some nice throwing knives, maybe. If there's anyone in that corner, nope. Oh, that's the play right there. Good job. Report to command for debrief. Right through the heart. That's not very nice. Okay. Let me text Davy and let him know. I think it only has to be.
Let him know he can play it soon. And let's try a different game type. I wish my team was on... Hunted. I love Hunted. I don't think I've done it on stream before. So you start with just the pistol with 12 bullets. And with those 12 bullets you have to get some kills and maybe find another gun. And to find that other gun, um, you have to go to a care package, pick it up. You get a random weapon with one clip's worth of ammo. So if you get an LMG, maybe it's 100 shots or whatever. If you get something like a sniper, you only get 6 bullets until you have to resupply again. Fingered Beehole. What a nice gamer tag. This is one that really, uh, um, like, really benefits people that are good with a pistol. I'm so happy I get to play with Davy again. This one starts out. My headset dead? Okay. What happened? Why is my headset off? This one starts out with magnums. Sometimes you start out with other ones. It looks like my headset is dead because it just powered directly off again. So let's try to replace those batteries real quick, like, before the game starts. Find weapon drops for competitive advantage. Alright. So, wow. They already got good guns while I was messing around with my headset. See if I can actually get a gun so you guys can see how the game works. Alright, so now I got this gun with foregrip, but I only have one clip of ammo. Which just means. Oh, and you also get more perks as you get on a good streak, so. You want to try to not die. Okay, I'm out of ammo. Can I pick up this guy's magnum now? Do I have any shots left? Six shots, perfect. Oh, that finally got me. Eight and two is not too bad, though. Gosh, who's that that's in my game? Unreal. No, wait, what? What did I just see? Oh, it's Mist Clutch. I have a buddy named Unreal Clutch, and so that always freaks me out. I always I thought it was him. Alright, so we got something. Oh. I don't know this gun.
do not want the shotgun. AK-12 custom. Alright, it's not... I want to make sure it's full auto. Oh, it's not full auto, it's burst. Oh boy, I can run out of ammo pretty quick here. Two bursts left. Oh, I'm toast. Jeez, I'm getting kind of stressed out. Alright. Vector, not too bad. We are winning just narrowly. Out of ammo, let's get something. Pistol or something, please, anything. Oh, MSBS with only that many shots? No way. Oh, they got me. What kind of headset is it? Um, so it comes with a little headset like the, like the original Xbox headset, but it doesn't work. Ooh, is this the last kill? It doesn't work with the chat, or it doesn't work with Turtle Beaches, so I had to modify it. Watch this. Ready, ready, ready. Ooh, tasty. Oh, 17 minutes. I've now been waiting. How long is this? A half hour almost, and it hasn't even changed time at all. Thank you, Microsoft support. I love it. Let's see if Davy is ready to play. My game didn't take that long to download. Looks like his still is, however. Let's go to my friends. Always available right here, apparently. Except for, it seems. God, it's slow on some of this stuff. They, I can't wait for the first update, because they need to fix some of this glitchy slow stuff. Overall, it's really cool, but some of this stuff just needs to work. Like, it shouldn't take this long to open up my friend's app. Getting activity feed. That'll be another five minutes. What time is it? Oh, oh god, I probably shouldn't be yelling. He started playing Battlefield four minutes ago. Um, hmm. Let's go with Hunted again. Hi, can you explain what kind of services do I need to install TV on Xbox One? So you're going to need a cable box or um, whatever you get your TV from, and it has to have an HDMI out. Some of them don't have HDMI out. It has to have HDMI out. You plug that into your Xbox, and that's it. Then you just have to go through the setup process. All you have to have is either antenna, cable, or dish. Um, any way to get TV on HDMI and your Xbox will do it. Hunted. Make sure to leave a like if you guys are enjoying it and comment. Let me know who's still watching. Even if you're watching this after the fact, make sure to comment. I always reply when it kind of requires a reply. Alright, we got a some kind of gun custom. We've lost the lead. 
with an ACOG on it. 34 bullets tells me it's probably an AR, but I don't think I've used this particular one before. Maybe it's an SMG, I don't know, wow. We're in the lead. I'm almost out of ammo already on it. Another one's coming in right here, that's what the red smoke indicates. Grab his pistol, he's got 8 bullets left. I oh, got a saw rifle with thermal. Thermal sight is really good in this game. I'm gonna make the same loop around, see if I can not die. How cool would it be to get like a, a chem strike on stream? I've gotten pretty close. I've gotten a 29 now, but that was with kill streaks. Six bullets to go, I'm getting kind of nervous. Get his FAD with seven bullets, because that's a lot better, I guess. Oh, got picked off. Okay, knife time. One's gonna come right here to my right. SVU is one of my favorite guns, but I hate the scope on it. Oh wow, how'd he get behind me? I thought my team was covering it. That's okay. Next one's coming over here, it looks like. the AK-12 off him with 40 shots. Really ammo management is huge in this game. Oh, I like this gun better. Do you need a new headset, so do you have any good advice? Um, I would hold off on buying a headset until the new ones come out if you're buying it for Xbox One. My current headset is wireless and I love it so much. But it doesn't work with Xbox One right now because of the new chat um, interface. Oh, got knifed. Where's this one coming to? Seven bullets left. Dang it. Choke. Let's see, how's my Xbox support chat going? 
Whoa, whoa, where is it? Agents are currently busy. 17 minutes to wait. Yeah, thanks. I, I totally believe you. Don't tell me 18 minutes to wait if it's actually going to be an hour and a half. Good job. Report to command for debrief. Oh, wow. Going for a swim. Oh. I wonder if Davy's done yet. Playing some Battlefield 4. He was. Xbox Snap Party. Xbox Switch. He joined. Xbox Switch. Can you hear me? Hello? See if he's getting in here. Hello, hello, hello. Um Xbox Snap Party. Yep, there we go. I was in party chat. Um, what are you? Oh, is it, if you haven't played a game yet, huh? Nice. It's a lot of fun. What are the, What are you going to play? Well, what do you feel more comfortable in? You you like team deathmatch to learn stuff, or you like Dom, or I'm good for whatever. All right. Hey, you don't know any of the maps yet, huh? I've already played way too much. Almost two days worth. Um, let me go ahead and invite you to the clan. As well. Because I'm not sure that we have enough people to have two divisions on Xbox One yet. PDM on Stonehaven. I'm going to use my sniper here, see if I can get some of those sniper challenges done. In a team deathmatch game with a sniper on this map, I should be able to hold down at least 20 kills. We'll see how that goes. Ooh, 14 minutes left on my waiting. Maybe then we can figure it out so you guys can actually hear my party chat. Um, deathmatch. He's not in yet. There we go. Yeah, dude, it's a lot of fun so so far. This is a, one of the bigger maps. Yeah, it's like weird, huh? Where are you guys? Oh wow, I'm blind. There he is. I'm the dark blue arrow on your map. Saw a couple guys over here, so I was just waiting them out. Yeah, he's still over here, but I'm not sure what. Choke. Man. I hate missing a snipe shot. We've lost the lead. All right.
Where are they? Please. Yeah, um, I, I got my control freaks on mine. Um, what I did is, and what you can do too, it's kind of cheesy, but you can wrap the right stick, or the left stick I guess, around the edge with just a thin piece of duct tape. And it just makes it big enough that the control freaks fit on there. But then you have duct tape on your brand new Xbox controller, so that's that's your call. I, I can hardly play without them, so... It was way worth it to me. I get a, I get a lot more control out of it. It's it's one of those must have accessories for me. Like control freaks and turtle beach headset. We've lost the lead. Yeah. Guard dog ready. Gone. Trinity rocket available. Satcom uplink enabled. Friendly Trinity rocket inbound. There we go. One more kill, and I get my chopper. Uh, I guess I'm not in right now. I'm not going too bad. Oh, 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 oh! Almost got me. Almost took me off my kill streak. A friendly satcom active. Oh my god. How do you like the Xbox One? Please reply. I like it a lot. It's a lot of fun. I'm streaming right now, just so you know, as well. 15 and 0. Jeez, let's see if I can go with the chem strike in Team Deathmatch. That would be. S Wait, jeez, uh, uh, I have almost. I have over half our team's skills right now. That's nasty. Oh no, they got me! Doggy, where you at? I thought my doggy was gonna get him. Ah, uh, he did get him, it was just too late. Oh, there we go, my dog saw a two kill streak right there. Three! He's just running across the map, tearing it up. Oh! The knife miss! That sucks. I'm not doing too bad, though. 21 and 2 is passable. Yeah, this is I think the biggest one. But a lot of the, but they're all pretty big. Compared to previous games at least, they're pretty big. when I get shot at because you die so quick in this game. Guard dog KIA. Yeah, it's like in this um I don't know what you're using right now, but basically assault rifles, marksman rifles and snipers kind of rule them rule the game in this. It's not an SMG game anymore. <laughs> Is that a bad guy? I can't even tell. I just choked all my shots. That was a laggy kill.
You just feel like you're getting picked off a lot or what? Yeah, no, definitely. That's how it is when you start out. There you go. Oh, no one back there. They're they're way strong. That's what I'm using right now. Enemy care package incoming. At least you're gonna win your first game. Enemy hind incoming. Definitely. The spawns are way hectic. Oh, Go for one guy and there's another one right there. We're winning this fight. Oh, that chopper dropped some bombs on you. I wish I had some of my anti-air stuff on. <laughs> yeah, there's like no place to hide on this map from it either. Oh, we got I'm blind. When I started out, this was one of the most frustrating Call of Duties. Now it's a lot of fun. Oh, 14 minutes still on. Waiting for the damn Xbox support. It said, it said 18 minutes an hour ago. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to get the chat to go through the TV and the headset. Dude, I'm getting a lot of knife kills this game. I'm just running into people and hitting that, hitting that B button. Oh, there we go. 33 and 8. I thought I was going to get 20 kills. Jeez. It's not that bad. Led the lobby pretty confidently there. Doubled almost the second place guy. No, so you, you can't, they don't even have any more out yet. Like, they don't have third party ones. The adapters are supposed to come out at the beginning of next year. Callie and I figured out a way, or I guess Callie, I should give most of the credit to her, figured out a way to take apart the old, or the Xbox headset that comes with it, and like, use it with your Turtle Beaches or whatever, so that you can still sound more. So I'm gonna do a video on that here in a little bit, probably tomorrow. That's what I'm doing right now. It's not the most comfortable thing in the world, but I can hear you and I can hear the game through my headset. I like this map a lot. Let's go ahead and see what's happening on YouTube. What are you guys up to over here? Oh boy, that's a depressing ad. Every homeless pet deserves a chance. I'm going to use the Honey Badger. Team Deathmatch. We're going to prestige this character pretty soon. Gosh, I'm about to prestige this character, I think. Probably tomorrow I will. 
Yeah, so that'll, that'll be my second prestige. I already prestige once. No. We're in the lead. Haven't showered or seen people, hardly eaten, living off of Doritos and G Fuel. Alright. This is my favorite place to get prone kills. Oh. oh, it's so hard to get the camos in this game, like to get gold. You have to do a lot of stuff compared to the previous games. Enemy satcom spotted. Ah, uh, they got me. We've lost the lead. Damn, we lost the lead. I thought I saw something on my periphery. Enemy satcom spotted. One thing is there's a lot of interactive elements to these maps now. They they take a while to learn and learn how to like use them. So you'll like see random stuff just falling or people exploding walls. And unlike Battlefield where you can do like whatever, this one it's like this map has I think two things that are interactive: a, a tree you can knock over and some logs you can knock over. Some of them have walls you can blow up, but only certain walls. And th but they're not super important. Like I'll say that it's it's a little bit of an advantage if you can know them, but it's not huge. Moving. Like that that log you just ran across. That used to be a tree that was standing upright until I shot it, and then it fell down and made a bridge. So they're not they're not like anything super serious, but. Also, do you like how the the like contextual callouts are so good? I heard somebody there, maybe it was your guy or someone else, say somebody in the guard tower, second floor. Like the character does, the characters do callouts for you. It's really cool. Yeah, you'll you'll start to pick up on it as you learn the maps better. Here we go. Let's get some easy, like, lean kills. Because that's, like, some of the challenges. Have you used the lean mechanic before? So when you walk up to, like, a wall or something, like a corner of a... A corner, you know? Just, like, any corner. On a tree or a building or whatever. You... It'll, like, you'll see a little yellow arrow pop up on your screen. And that means if you aim down sights, then um, your person like leans around the corner without walking. Like I'll show you next time I'm nearby you. Oh, here I'm near you. Let me come up to you and I'll show you. Ah, oh, that's alright. Oh, I died. Oh, wait, I spawned kind of near you. Hold on. Enemy satcom spotted. All right, do you see like so? If I want to do say this thing here, look, the little yellow arrow pops up right about here or so. I go. It just makes me lean. And you can do it on, on anything that has a corner. And you can lean out and shoot people. Just... Yeah, it's a little bit finicky sometimes. Oh!
Alright guys. Let's... So we should be back, we should be good, it looks like everything's up and running. Sorry about that frozen game guys, I'll try to keep my eye on that. That's something that um, I've noticed with the Xbox One is it tends to freeze up the Elgato. So when it does that, I've had that happen where I'm like, oh that was such a good game, I, I can't wait to post that. And I figure out that it did that halfway through so I didn't even get the gameplay. Yeah, it's frustrating and sorry that it kind of cut you guys off for a minute so you couldn't see anything. Come on, give me some prone kills. Yeah, and once you do, it makes it so much more fun. Before I learned the maps, I just was so frustrated all the time. Enemy SATCOM spotted. <laughs> Once you know the maps, the game is actually pretty intuitive. I'm not doing as well this time, 24 and 12. Yeah, dude. You know, some days you're just not on your game. I'm sure you've had those days too. Um, you kind of want to put it somewhere, hopefully, that the enemy won't see, but don't worry too much about concealing it. Like, you don't have to, like, go find an extra place, because they're, they're pretty easy, or they don't last super long, so don't worry about it. They're kind of like, do you know how they work? SATCOM uplink enabled. It's one of them is kind of like a, a motion sensor thing, like you see what your teammates see. Um, two of them is a UAV. Three of them is a UAV that moves fat, like has faster sweeps. And four of them is an advanced UAV. But they all have to be up at the same time, so that's an extra consideration as well. And they don't, they like all expire in a minute or so. So a lot of times, if you're playing like I don't know, search and rescue, for instance, I guess you haven't played that yet. But if you're playing search and destroy you, like, everyone should save them up and then drop them at the same round. That way, it makes it, like, really powerful. You haven't tried Search and Rescue yet, right? We should try some of the new game types. Have you tried Cranked? Okay, so Cranked is team deathmatch, but when you get a kill, it starts a timer. And it's a 30 second timer. And if you don't get another kill within 30 seconds, you explode. So it's basically team deathmatch, but keep but to keep people from camping. Also, yeah. Also, when you get your first kill, you get like all of the speed perks, so you start moving really fast and stuff like that. It's just one of the most fast-paced game types. It's one of the fastest to level up if you can get on a small kill streak. Like if you get two or three kills at a time, it makes you level up a lot faster. Cranked and, and Search and Rescue are the fastest level up. Alright. Oh, 
Oh, and also, Davy, you can accept the clan invite if you want. Um, I think I already. I'm not sure. Let me send it to you again. I'm not sure if it's sent. You can go to barracks, and then I think it's just clan invites. And that way, you get like the clan tag, and you can start. Um, that'll count you in with our clan for the clan wars and stuff. Which are a whole another bag of worms. Yeah, it pretty much is. Oh, and also, if you want the clan tag on, Davy, you have to go to your create a soldier, and then hit X to customize, and that's how you set your clan tag. There's lots of stuff that just it just takes a while to get into and learn. There's tons of stuff to customize your character. <laughs> Never gets old. Oh, I forgot to check my Microsoft chat. Five minutes to go. Oh. Also, you can play squads mode to learn the maps if you want. It's, it still levels you up some, and it's not like actually playing online, it's against bots. Like this thing here, you can break open the gate, and then you can lean around this corner. <laughs> You can also shut this door if you want. Or open it. They got me. Smoke right now. Oh, I just spotted. shot him twice and then died. Deployment. 
No. Oh, that's the that's the play right there. Killed two guys and the dog, just like nothing. Let's see if I can shoot down that thing. Oh, I was way around that corner. Two minutes left on Xbox support. That was the fastest game of my life. Ooh, 0 and 10, 0 and 12, what's that? Those kids not playing? Between the two of them, they went negative 22 with 0 kills. Let's get a new lobby. Um, so that's that, that's cranked. Blitz is new, I don't really want to play that right now, but that's basically like CTF, kind of. Um, search and Rescue. That's like Search and Destroy, except for you can respawn if your teammates pick up your tag. Like Kill Confirmed mixed with Search and Destroy, kind of. And Hunted. Let's try search and rescue. That's a, it's one of the fast ones to level up on. All right, take it easy, Dan. Yeah, yeah. Do you, if you pick up your teammates' dog tags, you revive them. I'm finally on with Xbox support. I might have to like fail my team here and just see if he can tell me how to do this. Alright. So, also, is he alive? No. Did he get back to he got knocked out of the game. Okay. We got what we got. The bomb has been planted. Are hey, you back? Did it back you out? Um, let's see, oh, so the other thing is that, so blue tags, like you see on our guy's screen, if you pick those up, then you revive your team. If you pick up a red tag, or an orange tag, it makes it so that the enemy can't be revived, basically. Same as basically confirming and denying kills. We're in the lead! Excellent job, team. Get ready for the next round. So it makes it so that the games last quite a bit longer. But it also is kind of more fun because if you die right away, if you run as a team and have some good teamwork, you can um, stick together and keep each other from dying. People love sniping on this map. Let me go check out B. Dead 
I'm finally on with Xbox support, so I might be like sketchy playing. Probably go hide and not be right on the objective. There's only one left. We should have this easy. Got one, there's, but he revived his teammate, so there's one left again. What the heck? Time's almost up. Yeah, that's all right. It happens. It looks like they're at A. That's because that's where the blue tags showed up. I revived one and died. That's fine because I'm trying to get this support done. On board with Davy Bankers. We're in the lead. Excellent job, team. Get ready for the next round. Yeah. Kind of sad. Hey, you're not doing bad, though. You're either, or you're positive. Surgeon rescue. It's pretty good that you went one and zero. the objective. Enemy satcom spotted. Wow. I, uh, so I'm basically on with Microsoft support right now with Xbox support and I asked them how you can get the game audio or the chat audio to come through your headset and the TV and he basically said we have no idea Let, give me a few minutes I'll <laughs> I'll get back to you it's like seems like a simple thing but apparently not it's like I can't find it anywhere in the settings their support page tells you how to do it and yet when you go where they want you to it, it doesn't exist like not a real thing. Kill confirmed. Yes, definitely. Ooh. The lead. Here's the pre-fire. Excellent job, team. Get ready for the next round. Not like we're too proud beating these guys, but I think you got a shot on him first. I think you got the shots on him first though. Surgeon rescue. What gun are you using? Destroy the objective. Bomb acquired. Oh, do you want to do that after this? I guess you probably don't have a lot of points to spend yet, but you have to unlock. Did you ever play Black Ops One? So you know how you got like COD points or money or whatever. It's a little bit like that. I can't hit this guy. I am the worst shot in the world. There we go. Surgeon rescue. Destroy the objective. Bomb acquired. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it, but it happened. There we go. We're in the lead. Good job. 
Report to command for debrief. All right, so hey, let's let you make a class. Oh, I'm. I'm not sure how to do real game in that. There we go. So you're level four, so you should, if you like, click on create a soldier. You see on the top right how it says squad points, and it should say like ten or so. Um, yeah, that's what you have to spend. So when you go to your class, everything you want to unlock, attachments, perks, all that stuff, costs squad points. No, well, so they're kind of aesthetic but they're also for um you know there's 10 of them once you reach level 61 with a character he doesn't level up anymore it's done and that just makes it, that's that's basically prestiging this game is to move on to a new character but it's but it's basically like think of it like this like you could work on all 10 prestiges at once if you wanted to in this game oh Um, so yeah, you can you can unlock new guns and whatnot that way. I've got, like, one of my guys is maxed out, I'm on my second guy, he's almost that maxed out, but I already have a third guy unlocked at level 6, so... You can do that and you can have them look different, and kind of the, the goal is that you want them all to have different roles, is kind of what they've intended, because this is supposed to be your squad, so maybe you want one guy that's like your sniper, and maybe you want one guy that's your rusher and your objective guy, maybe you want a... whatever, a assault rifle guy. So you kind of, they want everyone to have a specific goal, that's kind of like what they had in mind, but you don't have to do that. Um, I won't be able to start the game for just a second because I'm the Xbox support guy is wanting to have me do some stuff, I think. But... Oh my gosh. It's kind of frustrating dealing with Microsoft support because they're like super polite. And instead of saying like, um, like, instead of saying, what's your problem? Or like, you know, what do you, what would you like help with? They say, would it be okay if I asked you what you need help with today? And then you say yes. What do you need help with today? I'd like help with this. Would it be okay if I asked you some questions to clarify about what you need help with? Yes. What exactly do you need help with? And it, it just keeps going like that, where they're being super, super polite. And... It's frustrating. It, it just, like, makes the conversation take three times longer than it should. And I, I understand they're trying to be polite, but it just... Nobody talks like that, so you know it's not real. It's not... <laughs> yeah. They say... Do you want in-game chat or Skype chat? I want the in-game chat. Alright, thank you for that information. Let me check on that. Is it okay to wait one minute while I check on that? Do I have a choice? I mean, what am I going to say there? No? No, that's not okay. Tell me now. Oh, actually, it was pretty f funny we got on them with them earlier, because I'm trying to transfer my gamertag off my... Um, I, it used to be on my dad's account since I had this account when I was like 14. So it used to be on my dad's Microsoft account, and we're trying to transfer it over. 
but to do that literally their solution is make a third account transfer them like transfer one to the third account one off of the first account then you can combine them back onto the second account and then you have to wait 30 days because when you made the, the third account it has to be active for 30 days before that is like able to be changed again so it's literally like make an extra account do all this stuff and then wait 30 days and then you can maybe make the switch it's so convoluted oh it doesn't give you an, ex an extra change if you've already used your one they might make you pay for it um, and so if you like burst fire, everyone loves the MSBS. It's a two hit kill at most ranges and it's three, it's a three round burst. So that makes it so it's like a one burst kill from most ranges. So the MSBS is really good if you like that. Otherwise the honey badger is really good. It's got a silencer built in, so you don't have to use an attachment slot for a silencer. And also people like, um, what's the other one? The... Oh, the Remington R5. That's like that's kind of like a just a normal run of the mill. Oh yeah, and marksman rifles are kind of like a weird one. They're they're just semi-auto, like between assault rifles and snipers, but they're pretty good. They're almost all two hit kills. Alright, let's see what we got here. Nothing. Oh, it takes so many shots to get that. Alright. Um, are you still working on your class? Or are you ready for a game? Yeah. Alright, this is hunted, so this is a little bit different. This is, you start out with a pistol with one clip of ammo. And then you, they like drop care packages around the map. And when you go pick up, or when you, you can go pick up a weapon out of the care package, but it's random and you only get one clip of ammo with it. So you have to like continue going around the map scavenging. And if you die, you spawn with a new pistol. But also if you go on a kill streak, you get perks as you continue to stay alive. Oh, this Xbox support. Sailor, oh, no, I don't want to skip forward. Um, hey, do Xbox 360 players play with Xbox One players online? No, they cannot. Um, and Sailor, I guess that's how you say your name, maybe. If you go to the beginning of the stream, that's when I talked about it. So you can go ahead and rewind that. Or you can just check it out, or I can just give it to you real briefly. Friends in this game work kind of like followers do on Twitter. You follow, you friend someone, that means you're a follower of them. If they friend you, they're fo they're following you basically, and that's how that works. To friend them, you need to either type in their gamer tag or select their name in a game or whatever, in a game or uh, Skype or whatever you're in, and that'll allow you to. There'll be a friend add friend option. I show you in the beginning of this live stream, but we're still going, so I'm not going to show you right now because we're just playing some ghosts. Oh, they got me. Dang. If they get the... Like, if they get weapons before we can get them, it's so rough. Because you just have a pistol in there. Gunning you down with machine guns. Kinda like that, yeah. Yeah, definitely. They made the bumpers a lot harder to hit. Boy.
So after waiting on to chat with Microsoft support for an hour, and then talking to him for 20 minutes for this question, he basically told me, we don't have that feature, you can only listen through the headset to, ch to game chat. That's like a major step back, like, that was- okay, our teammate just ran straight past an enemy? What are you doing? He like, snuck past him, that was weird. Oh, it's really hard for me. What is this? Oh, I found this support page. I was on this support page earlier and I, I had it up and now I can't find what I'm looking for. Really frustrating. Where is this? Why can I not find this? Accessories. this support page? I can't find it anymore. What the heck? Good job. Report to command for debrief. <laughs> wow, this is really weird. I cannot be this out.
Alright. I'm ready to play again now that I'm done being jerked around by Microsoft support. It seems really weird that they want that they don't have that feature. Jesus scared me. You guys are wondering why I'm playing like garbage. I'm still trying to type to Microsoft support. So apparently it's not an option for you guys to be able to hear the chat. So that's kind of sucks for my streams. It actually really sucks for my streams that you guys can only hear me and not my friends. Not my party. Oh, so at least now that I'm done, I can just focus and I understand what the problem is. We're in the Alright. That's a bummer they don't have that feature. Like, it, it's not a big deal for probably most people, but it really sucks for me because... Like, that means when I do videos... I can't even do some of the same videos I do because now nobody can... They can't hear the... Other people's voice anymore. I don't know. We're barely winning this one. I need to step it up.
We're in the lead. Yeah, the bumpers are kind of crazy. They're hard to hit. Wow, we barely won that. I was close. Good day's work. Oh. oh man, I've been playing a while. Are you taking a break? Are you getting off? I'm probably gonna be done for the night. But it was fun playing with you again, man. I'll be on tomorrow and I'll pretty much I'll break, so. Yeah, have a good one. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching my stream. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. If you're here to check out how to add friends on Xbox Live, then you need to go to. The beginning of this video that's where i talk about it and i will talk to you guys later thanks again for stopping by i always appreciate your guys support